It's springtime here in the land between, which means many birds are migrating back from their winter homes. There is nothing that signifies the start of the new season like seeing and hearing birds we have missed all winter long. Let's take a look at some spring birds we find on land. A common sign of spring, American robins tend to show up early in the season, but can also stick around Ontario all winter long. These large songbirds with bright red bellies can be found on your lawn pulling worms out of the ground. Robins are a common spring visitor, whether you live in the city or the country. Turkey vultures are large black birds with a red unfeathered head and legs. They show up in early spring and are usually seen soaring with their wings in a V shape. Turkey vultures eat carrion or dead matter and other found food. Killdeer are small shorebirds with two black breast bands and a black forehead band. Killdeer are often found in fields, lawns, or shores where they lay their eggs. Their call sounds like a high-pitched and excited killdeer. These birds have a cool defense mechanism of pretending they have a broken wing to lure predators away from their babies. A familiar blue and white bird, the blue jay is a well-known visitor to your feeder. Blue jays are part of the crow family and as such are very social, smart, and noisy. Some blue jays migrate south and return in the spring, while others stay in Ontario all winter long. American woodcocks are small, chunky shorebirds that are often found in wetlands or wooded areas. They are mottled brown overall with large dark eyes and long beaks. They have an unusual dance for bringing worms to the surface as well as a unique courting flight involving flying straight up and tumbling downwards. Several small warblers return to Ontario in the spring. Yellow rumped warblers are among the first of the warblers to arrive in the land between. They are named after the yellow patch on the rump, but also have yellow patches on their armpits and crowns. Black pole warblers have black and white streaking on the underparts and a distinctive black cap and white cheek. They also have yellow and orange legs. Black pole warblers have one of the longest migration routes in Ontario birds, and especially for such a small bird. Pine warblers are small and yellow with dark wings. They have a distinctive yellow eye ring and white undertail feathers. These birds get their name because they prefer to be near pine trees, but they can also be found at your feeder. The smallest of the wren family, winter wrens have a very short tail and are brownish overall, with dark barring on the sides and the tail. Their short tail and dark barring separate them from the other wrens. Of all the wrens, they have the longest and most intricate song. Golden and ruby crowned kinglets are very small spring migrants. Golden crowned kinglets have a yellow crown with black borders. Males have orange feathers in their crown that are only visible if the bird is agitated or excited. Unlike golden crown kinglets, ruby crown kinglets don't always have a visible crown as only males have the ruby crown. Kinglets are a true first sign of spring. Be sure to catch our other video on spring birds near the water. Want to learn more about birds of the land between? Visit our website, thelandbetween.ca.